Five things not to do in open source. Raise a one or two word issue that makes sense to you, but makes sense to nobody else. It's really important to add context to your issue. Remember, an issue is about collaboration before the changes. And so it's great to have the conversation on the issue. But if an issue has questions back and forth, trying to understand the issue, then that actually isn't really collaboration. That's just confusion and noise, and it's really not good. So make sure you add context, add information, screenshots, links. So therefore, when there is collaboration on the issue, it is adding value and not sending notifications to lots of people about, what do you mean? Did you mean this? No, I meant that. Are you sure? Did you mean this? Keep it crystal clear. Try and have it so that if someone has no understanding of the project, of the conversation, they can pick up the issue and understand what is going on. Pull request, PRs with multiple changes. I don't mean multiple changes for the same feature. Say for example, you're formatting a file because it's not adhering to the linting rules. And then you've seen a bug and you fix the bug as well. Well, don't put them in the same PR. Those are actually two PRs. Because what happens if one of those isn't quite required now? Or there's more conversation that needs to go on to one of those changes. Then the other change that is gonna add value to the project is gonna get blocked. And it's just gonna take longer and longer to merge in. And then you're gonna have maybe more conflicts. There's gonna be more confusion. It's really important to make these changes little and often. So your pull request doesn't have to be big. In fact, the smaller the better. Wait a second, hold on. I'm not saying if you're refactoring or rewording, say, some documentation, you put each word change in its own pull request. Absolutely not. I'm just saying that if you are refactoring or rewording a section, that goes in one pull request. Then when you go do something else, that goes in another pull request. Make sure your pull requests are small and laser focused that will definitely help your pull request get merged quickly and give you all those green squares that we all want. And why do we want green squares? Because it shows that our profile is active, then people will dig deeper into the collaboration and contributions we have done. If you're no longer working on a PR because you haven't got time, you're not interested, or there's reviews and changes that you don't know how to do and you don't wanna ask for help, for whatever reason, if you're no longer gonna work on that PR to get it merged, then please do close it, don't leave it open. The maintainer might not wanna close it because they don't wanna upset you, but if it's been months and it's staying open, it doesn't look good for the project, it doesn't look good for you, close it. It can always be reopened again, or a new PR can be created from it. Really, really important tip here, and it's quite a big one, so I wanna break it down for you. Don't hassle maintainers. When you create an issue or a pull request, I know you get excited, but they'll get the notification that it's been raised or created. You don't need to add an additional comment and tag the maintainer. They'll get the notification. If it's been a week and you want to give them a friendly nudge, by all means do that, but don't then hassle them on DMs, on Twitter, on Discord, on LinkedIn, sending them links, tagging them here. They will be getting so many notifications already from the projects they maintain. By you creating more notifications, it's just gonna slow down the whole process and cause confusion. Remember, most of these people that are contributing and maintaining to open source live in different time zones. Plus, most of them do this in addition to their work, in addition to their family, in addition to their life. So please be patient with them. Them. They do want to collaborate with you, but it might take a little bit of time. But like I said, if time has passed, like me, I do get distracted with so many things going on. A friendly nudge after a week or so is welcome. But also remember, it depends how valuable the contribution is. Wait, don't shoot me down for saying that. Every contribution is valuable. But if something is broken in the project, if a link doesn't work in documentation, that is really, really important and valuable to so many people, then you might want to give them a friendly nudge after a few days. But if you're just changing an emoji from a smiley face to a rocket ship, don't nudge them every 30 minutes across all the platforms because although that might be a better emoji, it's you know very subjective, but let's just say for argument's sake it is better, then you don't need to keep nudging them. It's not broken, it's not affecting anybody using the project or understanding the project. I hope that helps. I always talk about things to do, so I thought I'd do a video of things not to do. Let me know if you found that interesting by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below 
and while you're down there, subscribe. Get involved in contributing to open source. You will learn so much in addition to your coding skills. You will learn how to communicate, how to collaborate. And by being a maintainer, you will really understand the flip side of the contributors. So that means your contributions will get so much better. I will see you in Discord where we chat between live streams and video.